Hi guys, welcome to another All Things Tennis Racket Review video. Today we're joined by Alice. Alice currently uses a Pure Aero, so a 100 square inch racket, 300 grams. She's come to ATT to test eight rackets with us today to try and find the racket that's best suited for her game going forward. I'll let Alice introduce a little bit about herself and why she's looking for a new racket. Yeah, I, um, I'm currently playing tournaments on the WTA Tour, playing a lot of Futures. Um, I've reached my career high ranking of about 650 um, in 2019. Uh, managed to win my first um, 15K that year as well. Um, yeah, and just trying to push on, push on up through the rankings now. I came to ATT, obviously, she said, to, to find uh, the next racket for me, I've been playing with the with the Aero um, 100 head size for yeah uh, quite a few number of years now. Um, I really really like it. Um, there's a lot of a lot of spin, um, but I just felt like there wasn't enough sort of control with this racket. Um, so yeah, I'm looking for looking for a racket that can provide me that as well. So we're going to use a similar format to the other video we've done in terms of Ryan's story when he tested eight rackets. This time we're using rackets strung exactly the same, so it's Linko Hyper G 1.25 at 50 pounds, all freshly strung for today. And we've picked eight rackets that are in and around 300 grams and all have that 100 square inch head size. So they hopefully we'll find a racket that suits Alice going forward. Okay, it might even be the pure error that she's using already and one that we can sponsor her and support her going forward in her tournaments. So we've started with a really strong two, okay? This is obviously the new Pure Aero, okay, the Pure Aero Rafa. You were using the older version of this yeah. currently, yeah. yeah. So she's used to the way it feels, she's used to the way she hits lots of spin with it. I think you mentioned like when you're hitting with this one, you found it really easy to access spin. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, there's so much, so much spin with this, um, with this racket, as you said, like I have, used um, this kind of through the generations. Um, so I definitely felt like there was a lot of a lot of spin with this, but um, especially on the return, I felt like it was a little bit a little bit wobbly, not not providing me with um, too much control. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm sort of looking for the for the change from this one. Okay. So it's a bit of a stability thing. Yeah, think? yeah, okay. yeah, I think so. So I guess the pure error is known as a spin monster. It's very powerful, it's got quite a thick beam. Yeah, it's great for generating power. Maybe Alice is struggling a little bit to kind of control that power. She doesn't need that power that gives you the free power. She generates that by herself. So a really interesting first comparison then is the V-Core 100 versus the Pure Aero. This is Yonix's racket that's all about spin as well. So it's super spin friendly. It's very, very quick feeling frame. So this one I was really interested to see how she got on with, okay? What do you think comparatively, how do they play? Do they play similar? What are the differences between the two frames? I think they are fairly similar. A little bit less spin with this one. This one's mm -hmm. very spin heavy, but a lot more control actually I felt with that one. Um, probably, I actually felt like I made it a few less errors with that one. I think this it one, just yeah. sort of, yeah, you're able to maybe go for it a little bit more and um, it still kind of reigns it in. So okay, I felt like okay. it was a lot, yep. lot more control with that one. This one, Yonets are quite hot on vibration dampening as well. They have a VDM, which is like a dampening mesh in the frame. Did you feel that translate? I felt like, yeah, there was a little bit more sort of vibrations with, with this one. I feel like that might be why, contributing to why there was a bit less control here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think through the shot, it's a little bit more wobbly, whereas that one's very like solid and mm -hmm. kind of compact. So then in terms of pure feel, say if you're hitting drop shots, you hit a lot of drop shots against me today, sent me running all around the court what had the best feel so forget volleys forget overheads what had the best feel so you're knifing a drop shot hitting slice um i would say potentially this one has slightly better feel but that one's very mm -hmm. a bit more solid uh, yeah. when you're volleying so okay. i think for feel feel wise i think this one yeah, okay is yeah better. okay moving forward then volleys and overheads what did you think um well i think yeah volleys in terms of if you're yeah someone who's at the net who's kind of likes to you know mm -hmm. um hit a lot of yeah drop shots drop volleys you know stuff i would say this one but i think if you're you know kind of sticking the volley a little bit more and um that one's probably yeah. better in that sense so i guess it also depends on what kind of player you are yeah sure. um serving wise i would say the same about yeah. that one i think it's a little bit more um more compact in that okay. sense yeah okay so tough question now this is a racket you've been with for many years 
Does the V-Core do enough in terms of taking it going forward if you take one of these two? I, I think so, yeah. Okay. It's, it's definitely yeah. It's providing me with the control that I'm sort of looking for. Mm, so okay. I think that just just beats this one. So you can sacrifice the spin for a bit more control and feel with this yeah. one? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So a tough one to go through with. Bad draw for Rafa there. Okay, but we're on to the next two. Okay, next two. We've got Heads Boom, okay? Popular in terms of Coco Golf endorsing it. It's been a very popular racket for us. It's gone in and out of stock quite quickly, but one that we had to review in terms of the specs. 100 square inch head. It's actually 295 in terms of the weight, so maybe lacking a little bit of weight, but five grams here or there. Okay, versus the Clash. Very, very popular racket. Not so used in terms of the pros, I think that's fair to say. But in terms of, it's unbelievable for your arm and tennis elbow and feel. So we had to have it in here in order to see how Alice got on with it. It's bang on spec, 100 square inches. This is just the 100 versions and not the pro. So it's bang on 300 grams. How did you get on? Firstly, start with the clash. What do you think of this? Um, I quite like the weight balance in, in this one. Um, it was a little bit, little bit softer. Um, it's quite, quite flexible as well. So yeah, it's very good um, sort of touch and feel with this one. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it did provide me with, with the control I was looking for, but um, yeah, I think potentially a little bit too soft for me. And then in comparison then the boom, what did you think of the boom? Um, I actually really, really liked that racket. Um, a little bit head, head heavy, um, mm -hmm. but light and, lighter in the grip. Um, it did feel potentially a little bit light for me, as you yep. said, you know, it's, um, yeah, 295, but um, I actually really, really like the way that, that okay. felt. Um, especially on, on one side more, more than the other, yep. the forehand side, that felt very, yep. very good. I think that was, yeah, more to do with the fact that it is head heavy. And, mm. um, yeah, it felt very good on contact, that one. Yeah, we chatted a lot during the demo process as well. This, this is one when Alice was hitting. At the start, it was quite powerful. Like, yeah. you found yeah. a few balls going long. Yeah. But yeah, it does have that addictive feel to it. Like, when you pick up a racket for the first time, and just smack balls. I think when you're flattening it out with this racket, that's where it really shone. Okay, so the tough decision then. Maybe this one had a nice soft feel, but did you gravitate towards this one in the end? Yeah, I think that one that one was would be my choice out of the two. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So boom goes through into the semis. Okay, on to the next quarter final. So we've got the Gravity MP. It's a popular racket with us with all things tennis. It's probably one of the most thinnest beams out of today, okay? And it's 295. I wouldn't consider it really a power racket, so that might suffer a little bit, but it's very soft and good feel in my view. Versus a new boy in the block, the Selinko Blackout 300. Really interesting new racket. Watch out for the full review we're doing shortly on this. So Selinko have obviously got the Blackout and Whiteout. This Blackout is bang on spec for Alice. 100 square inches, 300 grams. Whereas this is 100 scrunches, 295. So, Alice, over to you. Start with the blackout. Did you like it? I actually really, really like this racket. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit of a bit of a dark horse for me because yeah. Uh, yeah, it felt very good on contact. Um, yeah, especially sort of forehand side, yeah, being able to sort of uh, yeah whip through through the ball. Um, yeah, especially with the the balance, a little bit felt it a bit more in the head. Mm. Um, yeah, in terms of uh, weight. So I actually, yeah, really, really love this one. So then gravity, what did you think? Um, as you said, it's got a quite a thin beam. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was quite light. Um, wasn't really able to get the power from it that right. I that yeah. I would want. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely felt like, you know, it's a lot more effort to, yeah. to, to get uh, something from that racket. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So then this compared to a boom, the boom stands out from head's point of view, a bit more powerful, a bit easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, that makes sense. Quite a low RA, the gravity is quite flexible, so good for feel. Yeah, if you're adding a little bit of weight, I guess you can go to the pro or maybe just use this as a bit of a platform racket. So was this one of the more easier decisions then in terms of going through? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think this one's a strong Blackout. One. Okay, all right. Okay, last of the quarterfinals, we've got Everyone knows what this is, the Pure Drive, best-selling racket of the last 10 years. It's easy to pick up and play, and it's a very popular racket, especially on the WTA Tour. Okay, 100 square inches, 300 grams, versus the Dunlop CX400 Tour. So, again, 100 square inches and 300 grams. They should be quite similar, okay? But what did you think? Um, I feel like with this racket, it actually stood out for me um, 
serving and with my volleys. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was very, very solid. Um, from the back of the court, I felt like you know it didn't didn't offer me too much, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it really, really stood out for me in terms of um, yeah, just being quite a all-round pretty solid, yeah, yeah. solid racket, um, especially at the net. I think control-wise, it was it was pretty good. It didn't offer too much spin, um, but yeah. In yeah. terms of spin, uh, not really offering me much in that department. Yeah, and then in terms of the pure drive, then obviously, you know, you've probably used one of these before in your search of racket. Yep. It's the best seller for a reason because it's so easy to play with. What was your thoughts on it today? I definitely agree with that. It was, um, yeah, very easy, straight away to sort of feel comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, pretty all round um, for me in terms of yeah, volleys from the back, serving. Um, I would say nothing. Not there wasn't anything that's really stood out. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of spin control, it was actually pretty pretty good on, in yeah. all areas. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas in comparison to this one, it, it stood out in a couple of areas. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. 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 So then, reasonably tough decision then going forward. I don't know what you're going to say here. Um, I would say yeah, it's actually pretty pretty tough decision. But I think because it was so different, this racket was so different. You know, serving and with my volleys, I would say actually, I think this one yeah. this one's the winner for me. Okay, all right. Pure drive's not going through. <laughs> Bit of a surprise, possibly that one. So Dunlop CX400 Tour through to the semis. Okay, so you join us now at the semi-finals. Okay, you've got. The CX400 Tour, okay, versus the V-Core, okay, 100. Different rackets, really, I'd say, there. Uh, the V-Core is definitely geared towards more spin. This is really nice feel on the racket for me, especially when I was hitting from the ground, so it's easier to hit flatter with. So if you're that sort of player, drilling through the back of the ball and looking for control in a slightly bigger head, that's where I stand on the rackets. Over to you, what do you think? Yeah, I completely agree. Um, definitely less spin with that one. If you're sort of a bigger hitter, that's probably more more mm -hmm. suited to you. Um, but yeah, I do like the spin aspect of this one, especially coming from an aero, mm -hmm. you know, going to a racket which doesn't really offer you much in that department. Then yeah, um, yeah I definitely feel like this is a good um, in between um, mm -hmm. those two. Um, this one I definitely felt gave me a bit more control yep. from the baseline. Yep. Um, that, yeah, as I said, very good volleys and serving, yep. but I think this one covers more more basis for me. Um, yeah, I felt like this one, this one yep. was a bit more all, all round for yep. me, yeah. I had a feeling this one's gonna win the semi-final. It's definitely at the top. Just chatting with Alice, I think like, this grit gives really nice spin. So if you're coming from a pure error and addicted to that spin, we maybe want a little bit less vibration, maybe want a bit more control. It is a really good racket. This is a really surprising racket, I think, in terms of it has such a nice feel, but doesn't beat the V-Core. Uh, not today, yeah. no. I think okay. this one's, this one's right. through. All right, V-Core through to the final then. All right, so you join us in the second semi-final, okay? It's going to be a tough one, I can already tell. The Selenko Blackout 300 and the Head Boom, okay? Not rackets you've ever played with before today. No. Never. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like this one in particular was really surprising. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe actually how, how nice it felt, especially being lighter mm -hmm. um, than what I'm normally used to. Um, yeah, a lot of feel, hitting a lot of drop shots, able mm -hmm. to yeah um, use like that, that part of my game a little bit more with this racket. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really, really liked it. And then in comparison then, the, the blackout, it's probably a Again, in that surprise category, you've not used it before. The balance was different to you off the, off the feel of it when picking it up, but you really got dialed in with it in the end. Yeah, definitely. I think I liked the fact it was a little, well, it felt a little bit heavier in the head. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely, yeah, on the forehand side, able to get a little bit more whip with that. Uh, I really, uh, another really surprising racket. So I do feel like this is actually a really, really tough decision between these two because, okay. um, yeah, I actually really, really like them both and they were both very surprising, okay. yeah. Well, over to you, what are you going for? Uh, I feel like, because purely from a feel point of view, mm -hmm. I, I really love this one. Okay. Um, yeah, that it felt great on the ground strokes, but I feel mm -hmm. like this one, this one's probably, I think it's gonna go through to okay. the final, All right. yeah. Okay, so we're through to the final, okay? We've had some really close calls to get here, but we're left with the Yonex Vico 100 and the Head Boom MP. Both rackets she hasn't really used prior to today, 
but they're here in the final and one of them is going to be the racket that Alice uses going forward in tournaments. So, start with the boom, it's in your hand. What did you really like about it? You mentioned previously the feel aspect yeah. of it. So it's a racket that surprised you in that aspect? Yeah, it was definitely, definitely surprising. Definitely couldn't have predicted this getting through to the final. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, I loved, I loved the feel of, um, yeah, the feel side of this. That really stood out for me. I think playing with it, um, maybe a little bit less, less power, less mm -hmm. spin mm -hmm. um, than that racket. But um, yeah, fr from a feel point of view, I, I really loved this. This you look dialed in straight away, like hitting crazy amounts of spin. It looks like it suits your game really nicely with the V core. Definitely, I think yeah, that one is slightly more more suited to my game. Yeah, especially with the with the spin aspect, um, definitely provided me with a little bit more more than this one. Um, so yeah, I yeah. think in terms of in terms of that racket, um, it's probably as I said more suited to me than this one and mm -hmm. yeah the way I play so I think that's that's going to be the one that I'm going to be, be the one. moving forward with that one yeah so this is your take home the Vico 100 play yes. the tournaments with yeah okay there you have it so eight rackets down to one Alice has picked the Vico 100 in terms of the spin production a bit more controlled than her current racket the Pure Aero and a nice feel to it so thanks again for watching another all things tennis racket review video Please like and subscribe to the channels. It keeps us going in terms of enabling to pump out more views like this for us. This was a 100 square inch challenge, I think you call it. Had to be on spec in that wheelhouse. She has tried other rackets as well in terms of the E-Zone. So she's tried that. She preferred the vehicle to the E-Zone for the user in the comments, okay? But thanks a lot for watching to the end of the video and watch out for Alice back competing as an ATT sponsored player. Thanks for watching.